Hello, welcome back to some more Fire Emblem The Sacred Stones Blind. Last time we did chapter 7. No, we didn't. We did chapter 6x, I think. Because this is chapter 7 save data. It doesn't matter. Whatever. Um, <laughs> we're jumping into chapter 7, Waterside Renville. Okay. Um, last time we lost Joshua, right? Yeah, that was last episode. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I only do this once a week, so <laughs> sometimes I forget. And we are towards the end of our Blazing Blade playthrough, so, you know. You know the drill. Um, okay, let's let's hop into Ramble, I guess. Rumors say that Ephraim has been defeated and taken prisoner. Now Erica must find a way to rescue her brother for, uh, for, from beneath enemy eyes. Okay. Erica's company rushes towards Castle Renville, where Ephraim is being held. Surrounded by lakes, Renville is a natural fortress, all but unassailable. A lone bridge held by the enemy in its one entrance. Erica has only one chance. Erica decides to confront Grado's soldiers head on. Well, I guess that's the only thing you can do, right? Um, but here we are, Waterside, Renville. I'm surprised we're already getting Ephiram and Erica to interact. Unless this goes horribly wrong, maybe? I don't know, again, like I said, I'm completely blind to this, so... My brother is somewhere inside the castle. Renville is surrounded by lakes. The only entrance is a bridge to the main gate, and it's well guarded. Castle Renville is a natural stronghold, easy to defend and difficult to assault. We must plan our attack carefully. I agree. Princess Erica, please allow me to fight beside you. My elder brother Ford is in there with Prince Ephraim's- Oh, they're related, interesting. Prince Ephraim's circle is awesome. Let me help you set them free. I don't decide that, kid. The randomizer decides that. Anywho, uh, okay. There is nothing to discuss. We will fight. Oh, everyone's gonna say their little thing? I guess everyone who survived gets to say something. The, the hour of your reu reunion is not far off now. I'm yours to command, your highness. We're with you all the way, right, dad? Okay, don't work yourself into a leather, Ross. I wonder if if his dad had died at this point, like, would he have a different line of dialogue? I hope he would. In the heat of battle, a good warrior remains calm, where lesser men do not. You need anything stolen? I'm your man. Of course, my blade's no joke either. Well, it's a bit of a joke, but anyways, I'm sure I can help you if you let me. I'll keep you safe. You can't possibly consider fighting without my genius at your side. Yeah, loot crate only $19.99 a month. I, I don't even know if they're still around. <laughs> I've yet to repay you for helping me fight those abominations. Hey, that's a bit that's a bit rude, isn't it? Please let me stand by your side a while longer. May the sacred light surround us and protect us so I completely forgot you existed. Well, Princess, let us prepare for battle. Brother, I'm on my way. I feel like someone's missing no whatever. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, time to pick units. Okay, so only three are staying behind. Let me get my little randomizer up, I'll be back. Alright, it's the usual drill. Uh, I'm sorry there's no music here because I'm clicked away. Um, but, oh yeah, we gotta get rid of Joshua because he doesn't exist anymore. Um, <laughs> yeah, apparently he's a relatively good unit going forward, but hey, we can't use him, so what can I say? We'll be generating, actually, I don't even need to do one because one is Erica, of course. 2 to 13. Uh, the three numbers that come up we will not be able to take with us. Let's take a look. Number two, Arthur. Okay. Um, number two again, I think. Seth. Ah, uh, okay. And Vanessa. Okay, Vanessa's not too bad. Ah, damn it. Okay. Let's take a look what we have real quick. Okay, um, well, this might be an issue. Hey, I mean, I know Seth is pretty broken, but that just means that all these other characters can get really good level ups instead, right? So it's not the- it's not the worst thing. Uh, it's not the worst thing that can happen. We do actually have two healers this time around, so that actually might be rather good. I do want Gilliam to get crazy levels of, um, uh, of level ups if, if, if possible, uh, at any given point. Javelin, I think you're fine with. You don't have, I don't know, what does the Slim Lance do again? It's just an E rank Lance, isn't it? I don't, I don't think it's that strong. Um, Russ is fine. Loot. Um, loot doesn't actually... There's no one else that has magic powers, that's the issue. Heal and mend, yeah, that's fine. Heal, torch, yeah. You have a silver lance, actually. Oh, it's an A rank? It's an A rank item? You're not A, right? Yeah, I didn't think you were. It's an A rank item? I didn't... Jesus Christ, I didn't even know that. Is it, Has it always been an A rank item, even with the earlier GBA games? I don't think... Maybe it has been, I don't know. Does anyone need the steel sword? That is also another good point. We'll give it to Erica then, yeah. Why not, right? We do also do have the armor killer as well, so that's good. Um, and let's give the... Do we need antitoxin? Um, I suppose we could give it to someone, yeah. We'll give it to Natasha, just in case. 
because uh, again, I don't know, and the pure water might be good as well. And, okay, so now I do want to give the Iron Axe to someone, either Ross or his, uh, his father, I guess, yeah, okay. We don't have a... Yeah, we can't actually... We don't get an augury in this game, so I'm weirdly not used to that, but whatever. Alright, let's save and jump into it. Okay, uh, do I need check supports? I think we're fine, right? Um, Molder. Yeah, it's Vanessa, isn't it? Um, yeah, you have your son, of course. Franz Gilliam is what I'm doing. Natasha, oh, you need a new support partner, I just realised. Seth or Franz. Maybe Seth for this turn? Colm and Naomi, I think both of them are here this turn. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, oh, also loot. Loot and Ross, or Loot and Arthur. Arthur's not on the stage right now, actually. What does Erica have it with? Oh, Erica only has Seth. Interesting, I didn't know that. For some reason I thought Erica and Ross might have one, because they're kind of both, you know, youngins, you know, but I guess not. Okay, so what is the deal here? We're going across the... over, and then up. Okay, interesting, and... two balusters. Oh no, but hey, we don't have Pegasus Riders this time, so that's good. Who is going to be on the stronghold? Um, wait, what do you have? You have an Iron Lance. And a Steel Lance. Well, I think Gilliam's the only option here, so let's do that. We got Franz next to you. No, not, not Rescue, I didn't mean to do that. Um, and then we get Gus here. We'll get the... Oh, also, hold on. Do I not have... I do have game speed fast. Oh. They don't seem to be walking as fast as I had hoped, but that's okay. Uh, Calm Vanessa. You can reach here, you are. Okay, cool. And I suppose because it is a blind playthrough, I'll take a look at all the houses and stuff. Tirada is the new master of Castle Ramble. He's supposed to be an adjutant to General Walter of Grado. Who knows, though, rumors say he's been plotting behind Walter's back. You should watch where you step. I definitely will. Is that, uh, foreshadowing for this ballista, maybe? Also, wait, hold on, I just realized we can go up this way. We might get Vin- uh, not Vanessa, Naomi up this way. Huh, that's actually a weirdly good point. And it is an axe user, so we might as well get, um, Erica up this way, I think. And who did you support again? Loot and... Loot and, uh... Natasha? No, Loot and... Loot and Ross, I think. Yeah. Uh, Mulder, I, I suppose you can kill these boys if they get in trouble. Who are you? We're under attack, rouse yourselves. General Walter's at Junt and Lord Tirado has charged us with defending the castle. Show them the might of the Murray's Brigade. Don't let anyone near the castle. Okay. I keep forgetting what the UI looks like in this game. <laughs> oh, yep, there it goes. <laughs> Again, I've been playing a ton of Blazing Blade recently. With, uh, not, uh, you know, I've been playing the, the non, the no reset run for one, but I've also been playing the tag lock. If you haven't checked that out, go check that one out. It has been a ton of fun, uh, with Efolo and Rochea, and we've been playing, um, a randomized version of Blazing Blade. Uh, although I'm sure a lot of people have joined the channel from that, so maybe you're watching this video right now and you, uh, jumped over from Efolo's channel. If that's the case, Thank you so much for joining. Uh, you know, I do not plan to stop playing uh, all the Fire Emblem games on my channel, so if, if you have a favourite Fire Emblem game that I haven't touched yet, maybe, you know, your favourite is, you know, New Mystery the Emblem, or maybe your favourite is Three Houses. It may take a bit of time for me to get there, but I promise you all that I will play all of them. So, um, or well, the only ones, uh, the only exceptions being, um, like, D-Makes, not D-Makes, but you get what I mean, like, uh, um, for instance, I won't be playing Fire Emblem, like, number one, uh, or I won't be playing Gaiden, because they've been remade, so there's no real point, you get what I mean? Um, but other than that, though, I will be playing all of them, um, starting with these Game Boy ones, going into Path of Radiance, uh, and the Ike Duology, so if you're into, uh, the Ike Duology, actually, uh, not even that, I just realized. If you, uh, if your favorite game is Binding Blade, good news for you, actually. I will be starting Binding Blade in August, so, uh, keep that in mind. Um, you know what, uh, actually, no, I want to increase their supports, I'll put them together. And Mulder can come down this way if anyone gets hurt. Alright, let's take a look. Hopefully Erika can dodge both of these attacks, but, uh, if not, then, uh, yeah, that's fine. It's only gonna be a 12% hit rate anyways. And you put a critical. Oh shit, I should probably switch over from the rapier, because uh, that's a bit, you know, it's a bit of an overkill and I don't want to keep using it too much uh, as well. As you know, nice level up, 3 ping. But yes, I will be starting Binding Blade on... I don't know the exact date. I mean, I've, I do have technically have a schedule in terms of these uploads. Um, it'll be sometime within the first week of... Uh, the first week of August, so yeah, keep that in mind. Um, okay, let's uh, continue forwards. 
suppose we'll deal with this stuff first, so I'll get Amy you can't attack. Can Calm get a lucky hit? You can. You can't get the kill though, but that's okay. And we can also patch you up with, uh... <sighs> you're gonna have to bear with me. I still haven't remembered all the names of these characters yet. Um, but, uh, is it Natasha? I think it might be Natasha or Natalia or something. Uh, it starts with an N, I think. I suppose we'll finish you off with, yeah, with Erica, I think that's the best. Oh, sorry, I used the Rapier again. <laughs> Don't want to use that too much, uh, too much, because, uh, again, you can't buy those types of special items. So, we got Pure Water. Are we going to need it this turn? I don't know. We'll send it back to the, uh, the, uh, well, we don't have a Merlinus, but, uh, uh, oh, right, yeah, you didn't get hit, so that's fine. Although, just in case, I will put you here. Uh, just in case someone attacks us, or, you know, Pegasus Knight, um, reinforcement or something, I doubt it, but it could happen, you never know, with Fire Emblem. Alright, can you attack from the side? You're gonna get hit back with a 4. What about Franz, can you finish off this, maybe? You can, with an 11 times 2 Let's go for the sword, because our axe, uh, use is coming up, um, coming up, of course. Uh, and also, if, if Sacred Stones is your favourite game, and you want me to upload more, well, sort of, um, I guess this is sort of good news, but after I finish Binding Blade, this is going to be my main series. I'm going to go in that uh, chronological order in terms of the release date, of course, um, starting with the Game Boy ones. Um, well, other than the fact that I played Binding Blade after Blazing Blade, but you get what I mean. Uh, with that one, I, I really wanted to go in uh, story order, because uh, it's just so much more interesting that way, just the storyline, it's so cool. Um, but yeah, I do know that uh, a lot of people really do like the Sacred Stones, um, so I'm sure, and so far I don't have many characters that I'm super invested in. I mean, I really do like Gilliam, because of his eyebrows, and I love his design. I, I quite like Franz as well, to be fair. And, oh, this might be really bad for Franz, speaking of him. Um, I'm surprised that 33% hit, he's definitely going to need to get healed up by Mulder next turn. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll have to see. Um, <laughs> He's definitely a character that I think is going to grow on me quite a bit. Um, but other than that, you're going to go for him, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, but hey, it's a 3 damage, so that's fine. Okay. I think we're okay. I think we're fine. Even though that was a little bit scary, but yeah, no, we're completely fine. Okay, uh, in that case, let's get Mulder down over here. You know what? I'm going to get you here. Even though that might be seen as risky, but uh, just so everyone else can move a bit more. And we can defeat the other two enemies, I think, anyways. Can Ross get the kill, perhaps? Um, well, actually, we could just... Uh, yeah, you can't even hit that guy, I just realized, so... Well, can... we can... Uh, oh, you're still full health, aren't you? So we'll get the 12 and we might as well. He missed. Okay. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, let me know what your favorite uh, Sacred Stones characters are. I don't know who's popular. I know Joshua's popular. I mean, he already died, I'm sorry. And I do know quite a lot of people like Ephiram, as, you know, some people say that's their favorite lord. Which, uh, yeah, he's, he's pretty cool. I mean, I don't know too much about him so far, but hey, it is what it is. Um, you just healed up, so I don't really want you to get into more danger again. I keep forgetting that uh, Ross has tiny movement. He's only got four move, which is uh, not great. Um, I'll put it that way. Can you get a lucky hit in 61? Yeah, I guess. God, I guess Axemen aren't really that good in this game either, eh? Uh, I feel like they're the best in Blazing Blade, from at least from my experience. Loot Crate's not going to be able to do too much. I'm going to put you here, I guess. Uh, and then maybe if we... Well, how much do you have? You have 10 left. I don't think Ross is going to be able to actually damage, so I'm not going to risk it for the Biscuit. Um, actually, this even this is risking it for the Biscuit, because I feel like one of these might hit, but... Oh, wait, no. All... We only need one to hit. Sorry, what am I talking about? That's fine, whatever. Right, you know what? We'll just get the support going up. Uh, and he can't even do that, because he can barely walk. Mulder might be in danger. <laughs> it has only dawned on me that Mulder might be in danger. Um, how much defense... Mm. <laughs> I see. We might lose uh, one of our healers. We might lose Pringle Man. Um, Alright, well, for the time being, let's get into Ballista, and I'm going to start attacking. I'll go, I'll attack with you then. Yeah, cool. We can't dance, obviously, but what we can do is increase your stats. I think you two are probably going to be fine, so let's get Natasha and Erica down here. I want to get Natasha down here, um, just in case Mulder dies in this next turn, you get what I mean? Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Yo, you're okay, okay. He's only going to one hit. That's fine then. Alright, we're completely okay. Um, I guess uh, Mulder, you know, we can heal him up with uh, Natasha here. That's fine. 
Yeah, that is your name, right? Yeah, okay. Just double checking. Let's get uh, Loot some experience. She hasn't gotten much, so... We might be able to finish this off with both Loot and uh, Ross here. They, they have a support, don't they? Yeah, okay. Just had to double check, because I, I keep forgetting. You cannot finish him off. <sighs> Ross, you're not good. <laughs> you are not good recent, uh, not recently, just starting off here. Yeah, this is going to be a rough one. This is going to be a very rough one with you, buddy boy. Um, maybe your father can step in and... Yeah, okay. Good stuff. And uh, cool, 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 to, uh, cool to see that level up. Nice. Three. Oh, you got triple eight. So that's kind of weirdly lucky, I guess. You need to heal up, um, old man. Uh, I'll, I'll get you down here. Let's use a Volinary. Again, Volinaries and Elixirs and stuff are going to be ridiculously uh, important within this playthrough because, like I said, sometimes I might not even be able to bring a healer along on my journey. If we go there, um, the Ballista up top is going to attack us, so... Alright, yeah, uh, we'll finish you off then. This will be a good chance for Naomi to get some good experience, so, yeah, cool. Let's end our turn. Uh, I don't think Colm was going to do some crazy uh, damage anyway, so him him being here supporting uh, Naomi is completely fine, I think. Um, if possible, I want to give kills, because that does uh, more EXP, of course. So, uh, I don't know. Although, I did, uh, I do know that because I was playing around in FE Builder, I'm sorry that it slightly spoiled me, but I do believe that Naomi's the only uh, archer you get in this whole game, which is pretty ridiculous and pretty surprising, to be fair. Uh, I did not expect that, uh, with, with the slightest, with the slightest, in the slightest, I guess, yeah, um, so let's heal Franz back up, I'm gonna speed that up a bit, and I suppose we'll bring Natasha down here, do you need a heal? Yeah, you know what, I'm gonna keep using heals and stuff, cause, uh, for one, this game is very, um, what do you call it again, very generous with the shops, but also I wanna increase, uh, yeah, staff ranks and stuff, if, if possible. If at all possible, and they're going to all attack Gilliam, I think it's fine. He's in the bushes, right? Yeah, okay. I, I, I'm sure he's fine. Zero damage as well. He's going to tank most of it as well anyways, so... If this is a good experience for Gilliam, then uh, it is good experience for Gilliam. So... I wonder if anyone calls him Gilly. <laughs> I hope not. Um, that was a 3% critical. Although that would have been fine. That would have been 21 damage, so I guess it would have been okay. And uh, the Ballista is going to go for Garcia. Okay, that's fine. We can uh, we can heal up anyways. All right, let's get uh, Erica down here. And I, is that your last Ballista shot? Oh no, I think there's two more, yeah. Okay. Let's finish you off. Let's get that level up. Let's see how uh, Naomi grows. This might actually end up being rather good. Um, we got four ping. Look at that go. Uh, again, if she is the only archer girl, I, then I really do want to uh, put EXP into her. Because I do like a good archer in in these games. I really do enjoy archer characters. I don't know why. I know they're not particularly like super powerful, but yeah, they're definitely some of my favorites. Uh, okay, let's go for Franz. I do want him to get some EXP. And we'll try and finish the mage off with Gilliam here. Nice level up. Let's take a look at your levels. Uh, apologies, this might be a um, this might be an episode that's on the bit of a shorter end. Uh, depending on how long this takes. Although, I might do another one, we'll see. Uh, okay, we'll go with... Even though there is a 3 crit, but we'll go with Gilliam here, I think it's fine. Surely you're not gonna pull, pull off that? Yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. Well, you did get hit, so... Alright, let's take a look at your level up. We shall see. Level 9, cool. You- oh my god, you got a 6 ping, that is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Let's get... yeah, okay, of course, Ross disappoints me yet again. Um, okay, so, your danger zone's there, so, Garcia's gonna be fine, or do I wanna give it to, no, loot can't even reach, that's fine. Okay, let's, uh, let's get it to Garcia. Good stuff, good stuff. Again, um, I don't know how many, you know, axe units appear, uh, in this game, and I don't know, uh, if any, if we get any berserker units later down the line or whatnot, so, I'm not too fussed about if, uh, Garcia and Ross get a high XP or not right now, but, yeah. Again, like I said, because I knew from FE Builder that uh, Name is the only archer you gain, I believe. Uh, obviously, there is also like bow knights and stuff that have horses, uh, you know, that ride horseback. Uh, that is also an option in terms of bows, but I do like having like a sniper if, if possible. So, anywho. Okay, uh, you have one more, so can you reach anyone else, I wonder? Alright, we might as well just slowly make our descent down this way then. 
Maybe even steal this one after we uh, beat that guy, although he's gonna run out of ballistas soon, now that I think about it. Alright, let's get Gilly and, uh... <laughs> God, Gilly just sounds wrong. Um, yeah, let's get you and uh, Franz up top, up north. Um, although maybe... No, I, th I think it's fine, I think it's fine. There's only two enemies anyways. Can loot get this? Yes, she can. Or, oh, I mean, if this 67 hits, we'll see. Nope. No loot crate for you. That's fine. Okay. Um, although, again, she is in the danger of the ballista now, so I gotta be very careful. How much defense do you have? You have three! Okay, that's actually slightly higher than I expected. Is this Ross's time to shine? No. <laughs> uh, boy. Buddy, boy. Come on, you're better than this, aren't you? Um, I just realized this could be an issue. <laughs> we might have to try our best to get this 26, because I don't think... 21. You have a 40% uh, chance with the hatchet, of course. Why is your... Um, unless maybe... Can you trade the hatchet over, maybe? An attack with the hatchet? Is that gonna... That is actually higher. Okay, let's go for it. Nicely done, okay. That was the only thing I could have done, because look, I I'm guessing it's a lot lighter, so maybe that's why it has a higher hit rate. Just my guess. Okay, nice. Your stats aren't anything crazy so far, but you might you might end up being really cool. I don't actually know. I I'm sorry I keep slandering this uh, this household here. I'm not trying to, but, um, you know, the stats haven't been uh, particularly impressive so far, so... Uh, okay, we'll get Mulder, actually. Yeah, we'll heal you up. If, if one of you gets hit by the ballista, that's fine. Uh, we're in the bushes as well, so I'm sure that's okay. Alright, who's the ballista gonna go for? Loot crate? Okay, fine. That's, that's completely fine. We'll try and uh, defeat this ballista this turn. Yep. Yeah, I'm sure that's fine. Let's get uh, you up. And you're gonna one-shot him. Cool. Bye-bye to you. Bye-bye to you. And you're gonna go here, so I'm gonna get Gilliam next to you. Let's trade. Let's get the sword going on. Um, so that is, uh, you know, so we get the advantage there. How much? Oh, you, you're on 18 HP, I've got to keep that in mind. Uh, and then we only have the archers left, so that should be fine. Uh, I guess this map wasn't as bad as I expected. I was thinking this was going to go hor horribly wrong um, because of the uh, whole situation without Seth. But I guess, I guess we can fight without Seth sometimes, which is very reassuring. It's very good to know. Alright, let's get... Uh, Oh, she can't go down the... Is there a... Because there's, there's a forest, I see. Um, you know what? Let's wait here, because the archers actually might calm down. So, uh, we might get a nice little lucky hit in. Although this, uh, this might be ugly, you yeah. know. Yeah. But, uh, I'm sure he's not gonna double. We're gonna double. I see, I see. Sorry if you heard something. I, I was changing, uh, which earphone ear to put in. Because it was starting to get a little bit stiff, that's okay. They are not going to come down. Alright, well, what we can do is still lure them. Uh, so, Naomi might be able to get a lucky hit in. Alright, let's get Natasha. Heli up. Nice. And we might as well get Mulder as well for that uh, bit of EXP. Alright, let's get Erica in the, in the front. Garcia, you can go like there. Ross, uh, tag in behind. And then Loot Crate there as well. Uh, you two can wait. You don't have a support, do you? Okay, cool. Let's see, are the snipers? No, they're not gonna come down, okay. Did I see a support? No, I didn't, okay, just checking. Um, and you're there and there, okay, interesting. You can tank one hit, I think, I'm sure you can. How much health do you have, actually? No, you're full, okay. We'll get uh, Ross there, uh, loot, uh, Erica there. Does anyone need healing, perhaps? Uh, for the XP, I guess Franz could uh, use a bit of healing. One HP healing. <laughs> Um, so let's do that real quick. Okay, and, uh, Gilliam, down here, cool. I guess I'll put the two healers there, side by side, you're fine. Alright, let's end our turn. And, uh, they're not approaching still, I'm somewhat surprised, even though... Oh, we weren't in the danger zone, never mind. Alright, let's bring you up. Actually, that might have been a bad idea, because... They're both gonna go for Ross if I put him there. I guess we could increase the, uh, status boost with, uh them for the time being. How much is your rapier? Okay, I guess that's fine for now. Well, you're not going to be able to attack back, obviously, so that might not be a good idea. Should we just put everyone uh, as is, maybe? Loot can go there. Franz might be able to work his way up slightly. Yeah, alright, let's do that. 
I'll get the javelin equipped, and Erika can go on this side, I guess. And we'll end our turn. Okay, let's take a look. Alright. Oh, I didn't even switch over to the hand axe. I realized that was really dumb of me. You can flame me as much as you want in the comments. <laughs> um, but however, he is in our... Oh, I should have actually led up to it, so she got the kill, but... Blister broke, that's fine. These two can just uh, chill here and uh, spend an evening there, I suppose. Uh, oh, finally a kill for Ross. Good stuff. Okay. I really like that animation there. <laughs> Very fluid. They've, they've definitely gotten better and better at it with uh, each passing game, I've noticed. Right, 3 ping. Nice to see. And again, I, I slightly have missed this battle theme as well because, uh, you know, I haven't heard it that, uh, that often. We can get France here. Is this a seize one? Yeah, so you're not even going to attack us. You have a Knight's Crest, interesting. Which means, uh, try and get Franz to uh, level up, I think, is kind of the uh, the best way to do this. Let's get rid of you with the Iron Sword. Hopefully you can get up to level 9, because if you do, then uh, we might be able to get you up to level 10 uh, within the same map. If not, okay, that's okay. We'll be able to do it uh, next, um, what is it, again, next uh, chapter, of course. Cool. Uh, and I really do like the victory theme as well. Is there anyone else we can heal up? Um... Although I do want to get uh, you up uh, if I can, as well as uh, Erika here. Loot might be able to get some uh, good hits in. Uh, no, it's a Cavalier, or it might not be. We'll see. You're not going to do anything. Yeah, I knew it. Let's take a look how much Franz does. Someone picked up a Lance River, right? Am I crazy? Or... Sorry, I recorded another Fire Emblem thing back to back, so... <laughs> Maybe it was that. Yeah, it must have been that. I'm sorry. Alright, we'll bring- we'll just, uh, prepare everyone and bring everyone forward, I think. Yeah, you can go up there. Garcia, Ross, yeah, you can- you, you guys can keep increasing your supports, I think. And, uh, I think we'll end our turn, let's see what happens. Okay, nothing. Um, can Gilliam do something crazy? I'm gonna do nine, okay. Seven, hit. Can you actually hit diagonally? Oh, you do have the javelin, okay. Javelin's gonna do 7 on 7. Alright, I don't think he's gonna crit anyways, so... How much is Erica gonna do? Armor Slayer? Nope. Steel Sword? Nope. Rapier is doing 17 times 2, oh my god. Okay, well in that case, let's... Let's do some cheeky Javelins and then... How about stay a fed? How could this be? Girl, I guess it's up to me. That rhymed. <laughs> well, bye-bye for you, Mari, I guess. Isn't Mari a type of fish? Am I crazy? <laughs> Is, am I thinking of something else? I don't know, maybe I am. Uh, anywho, alright. Get another hit in. He's just a, a Cavalier, of course, not a... Um... What do you call it? Not a, uh, Paladin. So he's not gonna be too bad. Lord Torado. Bye-bye to you. Bye-bye. Alright. <laughs> I kinda don't wanna end it off here, because I don't wanna give you guys just half an hour of Sacred Stones content, you know, when it's once a week. So we might push on and do one more. We got a nice crest. Nice. I... Oh, I did not mean to do that. Um, oh, we, we have to seize, I see. Uh, you don't have the supports, do you? I'm just going to end and seize uh, right away, but before that, let me just... Uh, no, not that. Uh, let me just trade Knight's Chris over. And uh, actually, just so I don't forget... Can you, can you please wait there? Okay, cool. Um, go to the supply, and I'm going to take the rapier, because I wasn't trying to do that. Okay. Nice. We're here now. My brother is somewhere in this castle. Seth, we must go inside. Hold, Lady Erica, look in the shadows a figure. Oh, an enemy soldier? A paladin of sorts? Oh, Prince Serican, is that you, Seth? He he does look like he'd betray us, though. Just that face. Sir Orson, why are you here? You should be with Prince Ephiram. Are you alright, Orson? If you're here, my brother must be here as well, right? Yes. Prince Ephiram and I were both captured by Grotto forces and held here as prisoners. I just managed to escape my cell, a chance to escape. It's what I prayed for. Orson, are you well? Your face is so pale. Grotto's men, don't tell me they're f No, it's nothing. But Lord Ephraim, I cannot say whether he's still unharmed. What? Where is he? Where is my brother? If he lives still, he will be in one of the deepest cells where I was held. Head down the corridor to the dungeons quickly before reinforcements arrive. Thank you. Mm. Alright then. That's it for the chapter. No, I guess we'll, uh, hop into another one? Yeah, let's do that. Oh my god, I didn't even know that, but you can press the R button to see, like, where the chapter is set or something. It's it's a trap. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna do the obvious joke, um, <laughs> but I guess that's the chapter title. Here we go, chapter 8. 
Renna. Oh, right, yeah, we, we played this map uh, with Ephraim, didn't we? This way, Princess Erica. I feel like he's being controlled. Princess Ephraim has been kept in a cell back here. Very well, let's go. So, Orson, how long ago were you taken prisoner? Some two weeks past, Prince Ephraim and I were fo forced to surrender. We've been held captive here in this dungeon since that black day. Did you gain any news from your captors during that time? Unfortunately, no, not a word. A daily meal was brought to us by servants from the neighbouring village. They were instructed not to speak to us and we heard nothing of the war. Tell me, Seth, how fares Renee's? Renee's is full and King Fader, the king is dead. Dead, my king. My apologies, Prince Erica. I've served you poorly. You're not to blame, Sir Orson. We must look into the future, not find fault in the past. Is that something that... No, that's something that uh, Lucena said. I think. Or something like that. Or like, make a path to the future or something like that. The Grotto army pursues me in hopes of acquiring my bracelet. My brother wears a bracelet's twin, and he is in danger too. Bracelet? I remember Prince Ephraim still wears that bracelet, and Grotto's after them. If that's the case, Princess, perhaps you should entrust the bracelets to someone else. Perhaps, but give them to me or Seth. Let someone you trust guard them. If the Empire decides your bracelet, you are in danger as long as you hold it. For your own safety, Your Highness, please what see you. You must not allow the sacred stone of Renee's to be taken. Everything you say is true and sensible, but... Sir Olsen, I am sorry for this, but please give me your weapons. Seth? What are you talking about, Seth? Can't you say I'm unarmed? Do you think they allow prisoners weapons? What kind of injury have you taken that you suggest such foolishness? If I am mistaken, then I'll give you all due apologies. However, there are questions I have that I cannot answer. Too many questions. Why do no one, uh, enemy and reinforcements come from the castle during our battle outside? Why would you escape your cell and yet leave Princess Ephraim in chains? How do you know of the tie between the bracelets and the sacred stone? Says so there is something, uh, there is some misunderstanding here, right? And why, why do you conceal a blade within your doublet? What's a doublet? <laughs> Very well. You haven't changed a bit, Seth. He was a traitor, was he? If only Erica had been alone, you, however, simply would not be deceived. Awesome, what is that? Awesome, why did you betray Renee's? My fondest wish will be granted to spend the rest of my days in the embrace of my loving wife once more. What are you saying? You say you're going to be the boss battle this time around? That's enough, you've done well, awesome. I'll take over now, you may return to your beloved wife. He turned red! That was really cool, I've never seen that happen before. We already turn we always turn units blue, but that's at first. Who are you? We've never met, I'm Tirado. Loyal and talented aide, Devolta, general to the Grado army. You're the monsters. And you are General Seth of Renes, yes? I thought to catch a little bird in the net, and it seems instead I've snored a hawk. Where's my brother? Yes, your brother, he's not here. The coward fled Lord Volta's pursuit, somehow escaped the castle. And escaping under these conditions, heh, <laughs> such stubbornness is quite annoying. It was my cunning that led us to turn this unfortunate blunder to our advantage. I spend the rumours myself, I led the villagers to believe he was our prisoner. What better trap with which to catch his sweet, devoted sister? My brother escaped. Yes, but your no doubt emotional reunion will have to wait until the afterlife. Let's end this, shall we? First, destroy the bridge and cut off your only avenue of escape. Okay. Oh, so just arms, kill the princess, take her bracelet. They all want the bracelet, huh? Is it just us two? Princess Erica, we have to get away from this place. But how? The bridge is gone. Blast. Oh, brother, I'm so sorry, eh? Oh, we can pick everyone. That doesn't make a ton of sense, but okay. Alright, this time we'll have to minus four of them. Alright, one second. Alright, we are here in the random generator. Let's give it a go. Ten, Naomi. Uh, Ross, okay, Garcia, and Com. We got 8, 9, 10, 11, that's pretty cool. Ross, Garcia, Naomi, Com. That's actually kind of good in a sense because all of these ones support, so in other words, because they're all support partners, we'll probably get, um, so we get Seth, Arthur, Vanessa, and that's it. Okay, yeah, yeah. So we have Seth now, we have Vanessa now. Uh, Vanessa supports more different since Arthur and Loot, I think. I think so, at least. One second. Yeah, Arthur and Loot is a support. Yeah, we can do that. Alright, uh, let's give it a go. Let's save and jump into it. It is indeed a trap. Alright, let's jump in. Is this a big map? It, relatively big. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I love how it's like, oh, we've been ambushed, and it's just the most cheerful music I've ever heard. Like, what? Um, Alright, let's get... We have the door key. But Dorcas is nowhere to be seen. Um... We don't have Colm, do we? I just realised. I hope someone has a, uh, what is it, a chess key, or else, uh, yeah, this isn't... Why is there five of them guarding this one thing? I wonder what it is. Um, did, did none of them seriously have a chess key? This could be... This... yeah. And also, I didn't realise this uh, map was this big, to be honest. Huh, okay. 
Um, let's see here. Iron Bow still wants. Hmm. Seize the throne. Alright, let's see what we can do. Alright, um, I think my plan is to get Seth on this side, um, take out some of these strong units, and then we can get everyone else going upwards. Although we could open this, uh... Yeah, if we open that, then we'll immediately get the... I guess this is the long way, where you go all the way around. Uh, oh no, actually, that's just for the treasure chest, but again, I don't have Colm with me. <laughs> which is really unfortunate, I don't think anyone has a chest key, so... Yeah, I don't think that's happening. Um, I'm sure there were some rather good items in there, but with the rules of this playthrough, there's nothing I can do about it. Alright, let's get Seth. Um, yeah, I do want to get Franz to get some uh, EXP as well, obviously, but I suppose we'll go for the silver. Also, I realized because I stole um, Seth's sword, or Eric is holding onto it, he doesn't actually have a sword. <laughs> so I might need to give him one at some point. I might get Erika over this way as well, because uh, I do want both of them to get their support, of course. And we'll get Gilliam up here, and you can finish him off with a oh, javelin. Okay, we'll do it then. Although, is that the best thing to do? Hmm. I probably should have given that to someone uh, a bit weaker. And uh, for, as for Franz, well, yeah, you can finish him off. I do want to increase Franz's level as high as I can this uh, this stage, because we do have the Knight's Crest now, so it's really good. Let's see the level up. Level 9. Okay, we got 4 ping. Okay, that's good. I like that a lot. Uh, and meanwhile, you're gonna get him with the Steel Lance. That could be brutal. Can Vanessa maybe? You can rescue. Wait. How heavy is him? Uh, how heavy is he? I don't actually know. Doesn't say. Hmm. I can't rescue drop with someone, can I? Hold on, you can rescue a rescue? Oh no, I think it's uh, it's, it's for Natasha, isn't it? For a second I was confused, I was like, what? Um, but okay. I think that's fine, we can just, uh... Drop him next turn, because, uh, yeah, no one, can, no one can drop him right now. Do we have three healers? Oh no, wait, hold on, no, it's Arthur, never mind. I was, I was confusing myself for a second. Alright. But, uh, yeah, he's gonna do nothing with his iron sword. Good stuff. <laughs> Good stuff. Again, I, I, I do really like how, you know, this is three games in, this is three years of Fire Emblem that they released, but a lot of the units, because they're more or less the same- oh, is that Ephraim? Erica. Prince Ephraim, I hear sounds from the East Corridor, sounds like fighting. Do you think it could, it could be General Seth and Princess Erica? We have two goals here, men save Erica and vanquish the enemy. Kyle Ford, are you ready? Yes, Your Highness, as always. Lord Ephraim, we should join forces with Prince Erica first. We should be able to reach them by the uh, way of the Eastern Corridor. Come now, Kyle. It seems like a lot of trouble when we could just crush Grado between us. A lot of trouble, Ford. You're an insolent uh, as you are careless. Lots of um, families in this uh, in this cast, I noticed. You got Ephraim and Erica, you have uh, Ford and... Uh, what's his name? Franz. Oh, yeah, they're both uh, names that start with F, huh? And then you have uh, Ross and Garcia, so interesting. If anything were to happen, Princess Erica, we know it's a Vernay's wood. Fine, fine, I see where you stand. Calm down before you boil over. Princess Ephraim will decide. How shall we proceed, Your Highness? We await your command, Prince Ephraim. Both of you follow me. Alright, follow them, follow him, they shall. But for the time being, um, I suppose they'll probably have a talk uh, with Erica and Ephraim, so we might do that. I think everyone else could uh, go forward for the time being, though. Um, although you need to... Even if I rescue drop, he won't be able to attack this turn, I don't think. You're only going to do six times two. I suppose we could just do that for the time being. Let's get some javelin going on. Um, and you got nine left. Nice level up, actually. Especially for a non-kill. That's actually kind of surprising. You're already level ten. Nice. We might be able to get a uh, an armor general at one point. Let's get Franz next to you. We'll get Vanessa here with Mulder. You and Vanessa have a thing, right? Uh, and then loot. Loot crate and Arthur. Uh, what is your danger zone? Okay, so if I put Arthur on the pillar and then loot next to you... Natasha, you don't have a support partner. I'll, I'll get you this way, because there's no healers uh, this way. And we'll clog off the uh, entrance with... Uh, actually, I might trade over a Sword of Swords. I'll get the Armor Slayer, actually. I might, why not, right? This He's going to be pretty broken, I think. Meanwhile... Uh, what does Ephraim have again? I just got to check, because uh, it's been a while. Um, you have the killer lance, oh my god, okay. 
I think you were the stronger one of the two, right, Kyle? Strength 9. Or maybe... Oh, was it the other way around? Maybe you were the stronger one? I forget. Doesn't matter. Okay, uh, alright. Well, let's lure out with Ford. These two can get a support going on. Whatever, I'm here. Alright, let's end our turn. And, uh, he's gonna go for Franz. Actually, that might be a weirdly good thing. If he can finish him off, which he's probably gonna double, right? Because, uh, you pulled a critical good stuff. You might actually get to level 10 now. Um, oh, not yet. Okay. A little bit more, a little bit more. We got the door key, though. Nice, good stuff. I will send the... Volinary, I guess? Yeah, we got- we have healers, it's fine. Okay, and you're going for the Steel Lance, which, uh... Huh, it's stronger than, than the Armor Slayer, that's kind of surprising. But, uh, they have it. Cool. And again, I have to keep in mind that Seth can't use axes, or, you know, Paladins in general in this game can't use axes, so... I keep forgetting that. <laughs> um... But, anywho, let's go for Ford again, good stuff. Okay. And, uh, cool. And the other, the archer might come down as well. Yep, going for, uh, Kyle here. It's only one damage, that's fine. Completely fine by me. <laughs> um, of course. Okay, let's, uh, continue with the player phase. Alright, I will get, um... Alright, who has... You have the door key, don't you? Should I go up immediately? There are only still lance users, right? I mean, to be fair, there isn't much point of going up this way, but at the same time... Well, you probably can't reach, so let's do it next turn, actually. On second thought. Right, uh, can someone heal you now? No. Alright, well, Arthur and Loot, because they are knights, uh, we might be able to get some good, uh, EXP going on. And we might fight in this corridor, so that they, um, they come down one by one, you get what I mean? Alright, Natasha, you can come down here. And... Alright, Erica, you come down here. Seth, go around this way. If my voice is dead, I do apologize, by the way. It is 4.10 in the morning, and, uh... Truth be told, I, I did record a, uh, a tag lock episode. <laughs> um, directly before this, so, yeah. I do apologize if that's, uh, something you guys have noticed. Alright, let's go for the Iron Sword. I'm sure, because, uh, there's only one enemy, so it doesn't really matter if we don't double. Although I am surprised that he doesn't double, actually. Do you have a- you don't have a double in- uh, wait, do you have the javelin? Um, oh, we must have given it to Orson, actually, that was a bad choice. Um, alright, well, yeah, you double, don't you? I just realized it, yeah. Ford's probably the faster one. Uh, I definitely- th I think I prefer Ford over Kyle, so far at least. Alright, let's get Ephiram next to you, I'm sure you support one of them. Alright. And, uh, they're gonna come around this way. Interesting. Okay. Alright, let's open up the door, and we'll get, um... Let's wait, we'll get Gilliam up front. Let me just check how much you're doing, or how much he's getting hit by. Um, three. Okay, that's completely fine. We'll get you there. You guys can support each other, um, you can heal up... Heal up Franz, I'll speed that up. Get Vanessa... Uh, over here. Yeah, I think. Dark Mage can also attack through the walls, so that's going to be a bit annoying, but that's okay. Let's get Loot and Arthur over there. We'll get uh, you down here, Natasha, and you need to heal, so we'll do that next turn. They probably have a talk event, so let's take a look. Oh my god, you can move a ton. I suppose we'll give it to... we'll give it to someone else, so we'll give it to Ford, I guess. Um, I don't really want to waste the Ligzas, though. You don't have Volunaries, do you? Yeah, you do have a Volunary. Alright, you go down here. Ford, you can trade the Volunary over, and then I'm going to use the Volunary. Okay. And then we'll move up a bit. And Carl can go next to you. Do you have a talk? Yep, you do. Cool. Erica, are you well? Brother, is it really? You're alive, you're alive. Well, of course I am. After Escape Rumble, I thought I'd strike a blow against the Emperor himself. When I heard that you'd been waylaid by the enemy, however, I turned back to find you. Looks like my thing uh, timing was impeccable. I'm so sorry, the irony is that I was trying to rescue you. All I did was interfere with your plans. I really like how both of them have different shades of blue. I think that's a really cool design choice. Um, you know, they're, they're clearly they're related, but they're they're two individual people, obviously, so... Okay. Oh, what are you talking about? You came to help me, didn't you? Your efforts alone are enough to inspire me. Come on, Erica, the enemy awaits. Alright. Oh, well, they have, they have a very friendly, uh, um, sibling, sibling relationship. Very cool stuff. Okay. Because, you know, some, some sibling characters bicker and stuff, and that's cool as well, but it is nice to see a very wholesome uh, sibling... Uh, siblingry? Is that right? I don't know. 
but uh, you know, that sort of situation going on. Let's see, I'm gonna try and train up some of these weaker cavaliers, or you know, these cavalier units rather than the paladins. Uh, obviously the Knight's Crest could go to Ford or to um, Thingy, the other, the green guy. Um, what's his name? Davin or something? That's definitely not right, I forget what his name is. Um, but I do, just personal bias, I kind of do like friends a lot, so. Uh, I guess he's the younger brother to Ford though, isn't he? Okay, interesting. Oh, okay, reinforcements. Uh, Kyle, of course, yeah. Um, we give it to Erica, maybe. Go for the steel sword double, yep. And then I'll get, um, what's his name? I'll get, uh, Seth. I'm sorry, there's just so many names I have to remember, and we're still relatively early on in this game, so, you know, I need to remember all that. Alright, so if we get Seth to clog off this area, he'll, that'll be fine. Alright, we'll get, uh, Ford and Kyle to go up this way. And, uh, meanwhile, I should probably try and... <sighs> should I use the elixir? Oh wait, you have the Volinary, do you? Okay, let's do that then, instead. Yeah, we'll use the Volinary. And we'll heal you up, you can stay there. If you're I'm Erica, I'm guessing- I'm, surely they have a support. There's no way they don't have a support, you get what I mean? Alright, um, meanwhile... Let's try and finish the job off with France. And you got a uh, Crickle, good stuff. Do you level up though? Oh, so close. I might just have to wait then. Although, does a Knight Crest- uh, oh, it's only Knights and Cavaliers. I thought it was also for this class, but I guess not. Wait, Knights. Oh yeah, Gilliam could be a uh, heavy unit as well, now that I think about it. Do you want to do that? Yes, I do want to do that. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, wait, what is this? Oh my god, oh yeah, I did hear that there's like split pods for promotions, right? This is crazy. Okay, no, that's a great school. Equip swords, lances, axes. Great shield. And it's with great mobility and defense, equipped swords, lances, axes. So they can equip the same thing, it's just do you want defense or do you want movement? Hmm, no, I think Gilliam should be a tank to the end, so I want to go with general. Um, even though Great Knight does seem really interesting, and I've never used or never seen a Great Knight a class, I believe that's the first time they've appeared uh, in this series with this game. So, or at least in the Game Boy Advance trilogy, I mean. Um, Look at you go, 15 defense, that's what we like to say. You can use swords now. Good stuff. And axes. Oh, you're gonna be good. You're gonna be good. Uh, it's an E though, so we'll have to train you up with that, but that is cool. Gilliam the Absolute Tank, that is what we like to say. Alright, well you, uh, you look can just- actually I wanna move you over here, even though I do think Flux might hit one of them. Uh, actually I probably should've switched with loot and uh, thingy, but that's okay. Alright, let's end our turn. And, uh, let's take a look at Gilliam. Oh my god, that deep green looks amazing. It is, uh, General Gilliam. He is now a general, and he has a giant lance. Look at that critical. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Good to see him. Alright, again, I do love the detail of the, uh, the armor pads j jingling after he moves. It's very, uh, very cool stuff. I like it a lot. Even, like, during his attack, they, uh, jingle a bit, which is pretty cool. Just the attention to detail, you know, it's, it's just crazy stuff. And, uh, yep, yeah, let's just try and keep uh, training up, training him up, I think. Right, Cavaliers, yeah, we're just gonna get Seth to just deal with all these guys, I think. So, there you have it, there you have it. <laughs> Alright, bye bye to you. And, uh, okay. Maybe, we might be able to get one level up with these three uh, Cavaliers. I might actually speed this up a bit, I'm sorry, but just because, uh, we are kind of reaching that at one hour mark. And, um, let me just, uh, nice level up. All you did was get hit, but hey, that's, it's something, isn't it? Okay, and you use the javelin. Okay, interesting. Alright, play a phase. Cool. Let's go for... I had finished him off with the javelin? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go for the javelin here. No damage whatsoever. Interesting. And uh, Seth got a level up. Nice. Seth does seem to be a viable character all the way to the end of this game, from what I can tell. I mean, every uh, stat that he has is in the double digits, which is fucking ridiculous. So, um, alright, who has the high defense? 8, 10. Okay, we'll get Kyle up then. And I'll put you here, I guess. Let's have the kill lance equipped, and we'll have you behind. You have the support? Let's take a look. Hello, Ford. Hmm? Oh, Kyle, how have you, how have you been? What are you doing out here? Are you, are you painting? 
<laughs> he's painting in the battlefield? Oh well, yeah, it's actually I'm not so much painting and sketching. I use this piece of, piece of charcoal to draw and shade like this. You know, in the middle of a battle, don't you? Exactly. What if someone attacks while you're distracted? Calm down, calm down. I just like to keep a record of our battles with these pictures. You're just rationalizing. You're a uh, cavalier. It's time to start acting like one. Fine, fine, I'll stop. As you command, Sir Kyle, commander of the Knights of Renes. Oh, brother, do you have to make everything so difficult? If you don't want the hassle, stop telling me what to do. And stop fooling around on the battlefield. Seriously, wasting my time on an idiot like you is just stupid. Huh? Did you say something? Nothing. If you have so much time to waste drawing, let's have a quick spa. What, you want to spa now? Yeah, that's right, I don't waste time. I take care of my weapons, my horse, and myself. And not just that, I also make sure our mor morale is good and our men are safe. You're thorough, aren't you? I'm a knight, it's my duty. You really need to take yourself less seriously. And you need to take yourself more seriously. <laughs> it's a cute little support, I like it. I, I, I like it a lot. Do I ship it? Perhaps. Um, okay. There is water here, though, so... All we can do is go up to this uh, end just to get the EXP. So I might leave that up to the uh, two Cavaliers and Seth, maybe. Because Ephiram... Although it might be good to increase Ephiram's uh, EXP as well. In fact, wait, hold on. How do we... Oh no, we have to go to them this way. Yeah, I see. To get them. Are they going to be enough, though? I feel like they're not going to. So let's get Ephiram and Erica over this way. Uh, I think the uh, two Cavaliers... I'm going to keep the, the healer, obviously. Uh, over this side, because there is quite a lot of um, enemies here. Again, very unfortunate, I can't open up the chests, um, which is, yeah, that's just a shame, but not much I can do about that. Alright, let's end. And, alright, so you have the kill ones now, you should be fine. Uh, unless you pull a critical off or something. No, nope, you're not even gonna double. That's kind of interesting, actually. I guess Kyle's just not very good at doubling. I should have moved Vanessa out of the way, shouldn't I? Um, okay. Interesting. And it's the player phase, cool. Let's just keep moving uh, these two siblings uh, up north. And uh, meanwhile, we'll uh, continue to move. I guess Gilliam can go into attack now. He is going to one-shot this guy, yeah, let's do it. And uh, nice. Again, I do want to uh, train him up in axes and stuff if he can, because, uh, you know, that's... The more re repertoire, is that the right word? Um, you get what I mean. The, uh, the more skills that he has under his belt. Under, I don't know if he's wearing a belt, but under his uh, metaphorical belt. He got a support as well, nice. Um, can we finish this guy off though, is the question. Uh, somehow, unless... Iron Sword? No. Iron Lance? No. I might wait for Gilliam to finish his attack then. Meanwhile, I need to move Vanessa out of the way. Um, let's heal him up. Let's see, can... Uh, is light magic good against dark? It is. Okay, 7 times 2 though. We're only going to do two back, so we might as well go for it, Arthur. Give, uh, give him hell. Or give him heaven, I guess. Uh, I'm going to speed up Flux. As per usual. Uh, and there you have it. Cool. Well, is it true that uh, Flux animation, d didn't it get faster or something? From what I heard? Uh, and also, I don't think Franz is actually going to get hit back with too much, so I might actually put him next to you. Let's take a look at the support. Yeah, say, Sir Gilliam, can I ask you a question? What is it, Franz? Are you disturbed about fighting with me? What does that mean? Why would you say something like that? You and I are from different lands, we have different backgrounds. I thought that might have made you feel uncomfortable. Boss, I don't need to answer that. Sir Gilliam, listen, I'm here by my king's order and by his order alone. I'm well aware that we have diverse backgrounds and experiences. Gilliam says no to racism. What an absolute chad. I don't get who I pair up with, you can't always have your own way. That's just how it works in Frelia, it's luck of the draw, you follow? Do they let you swap partners until you find the special someone back in Renee's? Oh no, 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 that's not what I meant. It's just I was worried that I might be slowing you down with my lesser skills. Friends, you're wasting your time worrying when there are better things to be done. Like what? Like training, of course. Quit your worrying and show me how good knight of Renee's can be. I could ask for nothing better, please. Cool, I like it. Very cute. Alright, let's put you there. Um, right, we have to uh, keep going with uh, you lot, don't I? Uh, these, uh, these two, these two troublemakers that can't double, apparently. Alright, go for it. I probably didn't need to use the killer axe, uh, killer lance, to be honest, but hey, why not? Um, but okay. We're getting some support, so that's good to, s uh, good to, sorry, uh, sorry, good to see. Uh, for two reasons. One, they get stronger. Uh, two, I get more emotionally attached when I learn about their character stories. That means if they end up dying, well, it ends up hurting more. Um, so, alright, let's just quickly do that and give that kill to loot. Good stuff, level up. And, uh, oh, not bad, not bad. 
She does definitely feel like, uh, like I said, uh, the Muriel type, but um, I guess she's a child Muriel or something, I don't know. Alright, go for the 10. There you go. I was just about to say go for the 10 critical and you pulled it off. Franz, I don't know what you're talking about, Talking, uh, saying that you're useless. You're definitely not useless with 13 skill as well. In a way, you're, you're definitely way stronger than uh, your brother is, let's put it that way. Um, but anywho, he's got a cheeky longbow. I don't like that at all. Alright, player phase. Let's move our Erika up. We're just gonna do the uh, same thing. Unfortunately, they're not really on horseback, so there's not much I can really do there, but... Um, Alright, let's uh, lure out some of these guys just to get the experience. We get Ford up front. And uh, Harrison Ford, of course. <laughs> Um, yeah, there's a new Indiana Jones, wasn't there? Do you know that, um, I went to see, what did I go and say, our Tokyo Revengers 2 in cinemas, and, uh, th there's a reason I'm telling you this, by the way, well, it's to do with Harrison Ford and the, the, uh, Indiana Jones movie and stuff, but, I, I went there, it was like a Tuesday, right, because, you know, I'm a freelancer, as well as I do part-time job stuff, I don't need to comply to the whole weekday weekend thing, which is fantastic. So obviously when I go to, you know, to, to watch movies and stuff, I'll always go on a weekday, because there's less people, right? Uh, less lines, um, and the like, whatever. So I go over to watch Tokyo Avengers 2, I'm, I'm in the line waiting for popcorn, and I notice, like, there's so many old people for some reason, uh, specifically, like, 40-year-old Japanese men. No, not 40, sorry, like, 60-year-old Japanese men, right? men with white hair going to see a movie, and I'm like, alright, well fair enough, maybe they, you know, they, they might be retired or something, that's, that's great, but I'm like, why are they all here, I wonder? What are they going to, you know, see? Like, you know, there's no way that 60-year-old uh, Japanese men are going to be watching Spider-Man, for instance. They're not going to be watching, um, I don't know what else is out at the moment, like the Mario movie or something, right? And then it dawned on me, there was a giant cutout of Indiana Jones in the, in the theatre, and I'm like, Oh, they're here because they grew up with Indiana Jones, and for some reason that made me feel really like... I, I almost felt nostalgic for them, do you get what I mean? Like... Oh, they have a talk, nice, let's take a look at General Seth. Uh, but yeah, let me just finish my little story. Yeah, I felt really nostalgic for them, I felt really happy for them. There was a bunch of like, yeah, just old men, um... I guess, you know, they came along with their friends, maybe they, you know, used to go to watch Indiana Jones in high school back in the day, or something like that, right? And it was just like, I mean, I, I haven't seen these movies at all, but I was like, oh, that's kind of a special moment for them, and it was cool. That's all, I, that's all I'm going to say about that, but anyways. Well met, Kyle. I never thought of a moment that you could be bested easily. No, sir, and I never doubted that I would see you again. Kyle, about Orson, we heard it all. Unbelievable, isn't it? But facts are facts. Yes, if Orson can turn his back on Renee's. Mind you, this is a time, I'm guessing because this is set in the 1500s, 1600s, this is a time where if you betrayed your friends, you would get executed immediately. So put that into context as well. So I'm guessing Orson's, like, plans or, you know, his, his reason to do this is, you know, that dire. Um, but anyways, okay. Remaining knights will have to work all the harder to prove ourselves. Let's go, Kyle. Yes, sir. Uh, that was a rather short one compared to the Kyle and, uh, Ford, uh, one. I'm, I'm guessing, uh, the developers had their favourites, which is, uh, don't know how I feel about that, but that's okay. Let's get FRM here. Again, I do really like these two in terms of their, their custom sprites and stuff. It's cool stuff. Let's get Gilliam on the forefront as per usual. Did he get one extra move? I think he did. I think, I'm pretty sure he did, because I think Armonites get, uh, four movement, right? But he has five there, so that's good. Um, again, I would like to know a lot more about, you know, loot or molder or something, so I, I still don't know anything about them, so... It's going for Flux. Dumb little soldier there. You do not go up against Seth, because, uh, you will never hear the end of it. And sorry, I keep, uh, fast-forwarding a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna give this to someone else, I think. You can double with the sword. Alright, cool. Let's go with Ford. Harrison Ford, get, get, give him the, uh, the taste of your blade. <laughs> um, very cool color palette as well, to be, fun uh, to be honest. The kind of brownish, um, well, I guess it's kind of like a red. It's kind of like a toned down red or an orange. I like it a lot. Uh, we'll get Kyle next to you, build that support up. We'll get Seth all the way up here. Let's uh, finish you off with the arm slayer, I suppose. It's the end for you. There's no real point of going down this way, obviously, but hey, it is what it is. We got some EXP, we got some supports, I think that's more than, more than good. Again, it would be nice to have, um, you know, have Seth on, on this side for, for, for what's to come, but, um, you know what, I think I'm just gonna bring 
Gilliam up to the front to tank everything, because, uh, he really can do that, uh, in Franz next to you. Franz is also, uh, very powerful now. Um, again, like I said, much more powerful than, um, his own brother, which is pretty crazy. I do need to heal up Loot Crate, though, I did notice, uh, so we'll be doing that next turn. And put every arm in Erica there. All right, let's see. We have you attacking Gil uh, Gilliam here. Okay. Let's go for the 19. Get some beefy kills in with Gilliam. I know who I'm using for the thumbnail this time around. <laughs> That's all I can say. Um, but okay. I might use the non-promoted unit though, just so that, that doesn't get spoiled um, as a thumbnail. Anyways, okay. Weapon level increase. What are you, like a bee now? Oh, lots of reinforcements though. All right, uh, let's head back then, I guess. It wasn't much of a point of doing this, but hey, uh, might as well get uh, Natasha's um, heal rank going on. And I believe when she does promote, she'll be able to use light magic, right? I'm pretty sure. So that'll be good as well. Let's get FRM up. Erica uh, up there. They're, they're still not getting the support of any kind. I'm going to heal up loot real quick. Um, and I suppose we'll... There's a thief there. We have a lockpick. That's not going to help us. Um... We could keep him to live, and then he if he opens it, we might be able to steal it back off him if we kill him after that, right? Isn't that how pillaging works? Wait, hold on, I just realized there's a crack in the wall. I did not even realize that. Alright, I guess we're heading back then. I, I'm sure some people were shouting in the comments just then. Being like, look! Look with your two eyes! You dumb Let's Player. And I understand you, because uh, I can't believe I missed that as well. But anywho, alright, here we are. And uh, we got you there. Can, uh, as much as I do want to give their supports, although to be fair, they do have C in supports, so it might be good to have them next to each other for the, um, whatever boosts they get. I don't really know what affinities they have or what boosts they do end up getting with those affinities, because again, I'm not very good at that sort of stuff. Um, what do you have? You have a light affinity and lightning. I have a gut feeling that's speed or something, because lightning is always, all the speedy characters get lightning powers in anime and stuff. I feel like that only makes sense, um, you know, like, fire affinity I know gives, pa uh, like, strength, and that makes so much sense as well, right? I'm guessing wind is, like, evasion? I don't know. Dark must be, like, magic, or, or resistance or something? Kind of some sort of shadowy thing? Um, ice? What would ice be? I don't know what ice- ice feels like skill. Ice does- ice gives me skill, sort of, vibes. You stole a Volinary off of me? Okay. <laughs> I did not expect that to happen, but... Well, if you want to face Gilliam and face death, then, uh, be my guest, because that's exactly what's gonna happen. Uh, although again, like I said, I, I didn't even realize that this thing had a hole in it. Uh, or a little crack in it. Um, don't know how I missed that, to be fair. I guess I was too focused on talking about 60-year-old Japanese men enjoying, uh, Indiana Jones. Um, how nice of them. Alright, uh, let's see now. Can we get loot? Loot crate's not gonna do anything. I didn't mean to double click that, but okay, I'm sure it's fine. If he crits, it's only three. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Arthur's fine. Uh, in fact, we won't be able to get a kill for loot after this. And also, we gotta level up for Arthur. Alright, good stuff. Um, I really do like Arthur. Actually, you know what? I, I, I think Arthur's grown on me quite a bit as well. He's just kinda like a funky little boy, you know? <laughs> Um, it has light powers, kind of interesting. Really love Loot's color palette here, though. Very cool stuff. The light blue, or well, the cyan blue, I guess, yeah. Very cool. Um, if possible, I do want to increase her, though. Um, but again, I have no idea who, what other characters appear in this game, right? So, it would be interesting to see. Suppose I'll put you here, let's heal Erica up, cool. And, uh, you love it up. Good job, Mulder. Mulder the Boulder, as they call him, apparently. Uh, in the community, I think. Um, at least that's what I follow was saying. Um, alright, let's... Hmm, I do want to get this guy as well. Oh, there's two of them. Alright, we might as well wait for them to attack us then. And also, what if I... I'll trade the Iron Lands over. Okay. Let's go in for it. Can we get the Vulnerary back if we attack him? I don't know. Um... I guess he could steal because Gilliam's speed wasn't that low, uh, wasn't that high, I'm guessing, right? Surely? Alright, let's just finish you off with the, uh, javelin. We're just gonna have to never find out what those treasure chests have inside. Uh, if you know, though, please let me know down below, I'd love to hear the, uh, you know, what's actually in those chests. 
So, uh, yeah. If, if you're a uh, Sacred Stones wizard, uh, and you know that knowledge, um, then, uh, yeah, I'd love to know. Alright, let's, uh, do you need- you don't need healing. Does anyone need healing here? No. Okay. I'll get Natasha up here. Let's get someone else to do the, uh, breakage, I think. No, it's not gonna- Oh, they might actually have to both do that, because, uh, you can still land, but there's still gonna be eight left. So that's not good, is it? Um, well, I guess I have to use the javelin then. Um, and now that's open, so let's help them out. Um, I guess I'll put you here. 13 times 2, go for it, Franz. Again, the younger brother is stronger than the older brother. Brother, I don't get it. Well, I guess because I trained him up, but still. What are you now, level 11? God, you just grow and grow and grow, don't you? Level 12. Okay, that was a bit of a pathetic, pathetic level up, Franz, but I'll accept it. I'll forgive you for now. Alright, let's go for the uh, Iron Lance here. Sir Gilliam. Alright. And, uh... What is... Is that a crit? Was that a crit? What was that? Did you say what that was? If you know what that was, let me know. That was very strange, because he has a 0% crit rate, so... Don't entirely know what that was. Unless he had some sort of special item that played into... Uh, or that came into play, I should say. This is a C stage, right? Yeah, okay. So we can go as close as we want. Cool. Uh, let's get Erika here. And we'll get Ephraim. I've said the, that same sentence like 15 times in this episode. I do apologize. I'll put you two here. Get that support going. No, no, you're not gonna do anything, are you? Alright. What do you actually have? Silver Lance and Javelin. With a 14... Uh, oh, sorry, an 8 res. Riz? <laughs> res, sorry. I mean, maybe... Maybe he does have res. I don't know. You tell me. Um, but, okay, let's... <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny. Um, okay, let's get Gilliam down here. And we'll get Franz next to you. And we'll get. Oops, sorry. We'll, oh, sorry. We'll get Fran. Um, who are you again? Ford. And, uh, yeah, we'll get you across. You're not gonna jump out, anyways, I don't think, because it's a C stage. Um, well, that would be insanely funny, though, if there was a really OP boss, but then he started moving and then he just. You know, you get Erica or someone to just hop into his seat, <laughs> and the stage ends, and it's like, oh, um, that'd be very funny. Let's see, you have the Armor Slayer. You can pretty much beat him in one go, yeah? Yeah, might as well then. Hmm, my men were able to finish the job, were they? It fails on me to show you my own special brand of power. You do 13 against Seth, though, that is rather impressive. I'll give it to you. Although you did miss. But Seth never- oh. I was gonna say Seth never misses. Also, really cool boss battle theme. I don't know if they played that one before or not. Can Ephraim do something cool? He can with the Regan, Regan Leaf. Let's get it. Let's get it then. Yeah, this like guitar solo. What is this? This is super cool. Can you hit the other 62, please? Nice. Good stuff. Very impressive, however. I expect you. You'll wish you'd died here on my steel. Lord Falter is not nearly as merciful as I. Okay then. If you say so, if you say so, buddy. Let's take a look at the level up. Ephiram's still somewhat low leveled, so... Strength and luck, nice. I do really like his design, though, I'll give you that. I do know uh, a lot of people do like Ephiram. Alright, um... Let's just keep everyone as is. Actually... I do want Natasha to go around healing people, I think. Uh, just for the... The bonuses and stuff. Let's get you there, and get you... Oop, get you there. And Natasha, you can heal up. Let's do that. Um, just checking if anyone else has any supports. I could support Grind if I really wanted to, but... Should I try and support Grind a little bit? Let's do it for a few turns. I'll just, uh... Okay. Also, apparently Autocursor is a thing that people tend to turn off. So let's see what that ha Oh, okay, that's kind of interesting, I guess. Uh, I'll grind a few more. Okay, let's see. If, if there's nothing else, then, uh, you know, I'm more than happy. We, we got to learn quite a bit about some of these characters, and- Oh, you got a support, nice. Take a look with loot. Hmm, I wonder if- Oh, I see. What are you doing, loot? Oh, I was just observing this Chimita beetle. You haven't changed at all, have you, loot? What do you mean? Oh, they used to know each other, okay. Spent most of your time sequestered in your room studying your books. On the rare occasion you went outside, you were paralyzed with fascination. Of course, there's so many fascinating things to be learned from nature. 
There are a great many books out there, and I have read most of them, of course, but I found that w what is written can differ greatly from how things truly are. Take this Kamita Beetle, for example. I've been reading from the Glossary of Philibrian Entomology lately. Going to the Glossary, their wings fall off once they reach maturity. She reminds me of uh, Lucithia as well from uh, Three Houses. I don't know if I ever mentioned that, but... Uh, you know, because they're both kids, and they're both, like, learning stuff. However, I have just found an adult beetle whose wings still work perfectly. Exceptions do exist to the rules my books outline. This is a rare specimen. I wonder, should we take it back with us? Uh, I hope this isn't another one of your pranks. My pranks. Do you remember when I loaned you my copy of Lux Ar Artarina? Uh, mm, I don't know. You replaced my bookmark with a tail of a sedual lizard. You scarred ten years of my life, I swear to it. Did I do that? And knowing full well that I have a mild fear of spiders, you caught a small army of them and only some in my room. I thought that I immersed you in the thing you feared. Maybe you might be able to overcome your fear entirely. And I went to a lot of trouble trying to catch those spiders. How would you do that? I did get a bit of kick out of the experience myself. Why, did it bother you? Yeah, so don't worry about it. At least you did it because you cared about me, right? I'll just accept it as the best gesture of kindness you can manage, loot. There you have it. That was that was rather cute. Cute loot, I guess. Alright. Do you have a support as well? Alright, um... Everyone's getting supported. Alright, let's see. The two siblings. Erica, you're right. I'm fine, brother. I'm right here, so please call me if you need anything. I'll always be nearby. Yes, thank you. But you do understand that I am here to fight, don't you? I cannot ask you to watch me constantly. I'm your sister, not your ward. Erica. Wait, don't. What are you... You looked a little upset. I thought I would stroke your face like I used to. <laughs> please stop it. You're treating me like a child. No, I'm sorry. It's just an old habit. Besides, you're always the one who pestered me to do it when we were little. <laughs> It's so cute. Don't you remember? N no, I don't remember. Uh, that was such a long time ago. Ah, oh, dear brother, please try to remember where we are right now. What would our companions say if they saw us in such a personal mo uh, moment? Natasha definitely saw you. Loot definitely saw you. Uh, Arthur definitely saw you. Seth definitely did as well, yeah. Uh, Seth is quietly judging you uh, about that situation. He's not going to say anything, but he is quietly judging you. Yes, that would be embarrassing. Forgive me, I did not mean to do anything you would find unpleasant. N no, I didn't mean that, it's just... So you really do want me to stroke your face? No, I mean, look. Ah, you always did blush so easily, you haven't changed at all. E enough, brother, you are starting to anger me. Just very, uh, formal. I like it, it's funny. Alright, let's see. Got some good supports going on. Brother! I worried you, I worried you didn't I, Erica? And you as well, General. I don't know, we're happy you're safe. But tell me, Prince, do you know of Orson's treachery against you in all of Renee's? Yes, though I learned of it, uh, all too late after we were being trapped at Renville. I still find it difficult to believe that after all his years of service to Renee's, I'm morally responsible for his... F flight? I don't, I don't know what it is. Plight, I think, yeah. Effie Ram. Who are you? Little uh, Chinese girl, I guess? I want to call her Mei Mei. I don't know why. Effie Ram. What is it? M mirror? How do you say that? Mirror. <laughs> okay, something's coming. It's drawing near. It sounds like I have something stuck in my throat when I say that name. Dark, big, and great number. I understand, looks like we should get out of here. And brother, this girl. Her hair is indigo, where did... I mean, it, I think it's black, but okay. It's a long story for now, we must move. Suffice to say, Emperor of the God has enlisted some otherworldly powers. We must warn everyone of the danger. I'm very surprised that they've already connected and we already have one big group. That's somewhat disappointing in a sense. I kind of wanted to have two different parties, but... Huh, well, there, it is what it is, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna end this one off here. Hopefully you guys enjoy this episode of uh, Fire Emblem The Sacred Stones Blind, and I'll see you guys next week with some more, so I hope to see you all there. Bye-bye.